Pop Tropica. <gasps> Login. Oh, what the heck was my password? So, um, it, it's been a while. First of all, I have a pet. It doesn't have a name, but it is wearing a dinosaur costume. Also, I look... Oh, my God. Really not great. Let's put it that way. I don't know what happened, why I'm wearing a Jester's shirt, overalls, a pirate hat. I don't know what the theme here is. And you know what? I don't think we need a theme because Pop Tropica, if Pop Tropica is anything, it is themeless. But you know what Pop Tropica isn't? Pop Tropica is not for the faint hearted. Look, we've been over this. When I was a youngin, a little child growing up, sprouting from the ground, that's not how grown up works for humans, but just stick with me. When I was a little young and sprouting from the ground, I just, I found Pop Tropica. I found Jeff Kinney's masterpiece. My hero, Jeff Kinney. If you're watching this, Jeff, you're a great man. You shouldn't be watching this, though. You should be working on the new Diver of Begid book and also working on a sequel to with Devin Bostick and the original cast of the movies for the movie. Anyway, we'll talk about it later, Jeff. We'll talk about it later. You go do your work. And here we are. And little wee, wee little Rin found pop tropica and became obsessed and now oh okay the advertisement hey get that coin jeff there's so much new stuff in pop tropica and it's been so long we're back baby and we're not leaving until i finish every single pop tropica island i said it and now i can't take it back unless i cut it out of the video because maybe i will because i don't know if i want to uh actually do all that but you know what we're one step closer to completing the entire catalog of Pop Tropica. But first, uh, let's get a new outfit. Oh my god, look at this stuff. Oh, I want it all. We're changing our clothes. <gasps> look at all my new stuff. Oh my god, cloaked rogue? Are you kidding me? Look at this. <gasps> Stop, I'm so cute. Shut the freaking front door right now. Go shut it. I look fan freaking fantastic and look i could shoot look at me oh my god legolas who look at how cool i am i got a cape overalls no shoes still still get service you know i don't think i've properly introduced myself i've properly introduced my name's Amelia. Want to come over for some tea? Sure, I'd love to. We're gonna have some gossip time. Look, I know I'm supposed to be doing an island and getting medallions, but like, Amelia freaking wants to invite me over for tea. Great, I just live on the second floor of my store. Come on over. Uh, hell yeah, I'm on my way. I'm running before you even get there. I'm I'll meet you upstairs. Hey! <gasps> Oh my god, this is so cute. Oh my god, look at you. You're a freaking star. What is that? Is that made of mashed potatoes? I have a job for you. A very secret job. <gasps> but before we talk business, would you like some tea? Um, no, that's disgusting. This is where you live? <laughs> so rude. Yep, right above my shop. It's small, but it suits me. It does suit you. I love it here. Can I move in? What's the job you have for me? I've lost a shipment of extremely important cargo. Is this some illegal shit? Will you retrieve it for me? It's it's a secret, so bring it back to my clubhouse here. I'll find it for you. I got your back. You give me clothes, I find your illegal cargo. Great, it should look a little something like this. She just fully shows like an illegal. <laughs> the delivery was lost over Survival Island? I'm going to Survival Island, are you kidding? What's in the cargo, Amelia? It's secret, that's all I can say. This girl, I don't know what she's got going on, but I love it. What's, what's my reward? Tell me. I'm not just gonna do a job for you. I'll give you a bunch of credits and an item for your trouble. <gasps> I'm going. We have our adventure plan for us. Survival Island, here we freaking go. How the heck do I leave? Whoa, rainbow high? What is this? Sorry, pit stop. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Uh <coughs> Pop Tropica always had the weirdest ads. Like, what the heck is this Monster High, Bratz, Ripoff, I'm sorry, Shadow High, Rainbow Vision. Oh. Survival Island? Episode 1, Crash Landing. Night has fallen and the temperature is dropping. Alone in the forest of the Yukon, you must find a way to build a fire. But time is running out. Am I just like, I'm just sending myself to certain doom. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my god. 
Uh, I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. Whoa! I literally am gonna die. Amelia did this to me for her illegal cargo I'm trying to find. Also, I love that they, um, they changed the loading screen so it wasn't just black. Now it's, uh, pictures of advertisements for Pop Tropica. Um, also, I think it's frozen. Pop Tropica? You, you, you okay? Hello? See, back in my day, <laughs> Pop Tropica froze actually probably more often than this, let's be honest. I'm gonna do a dangerous thing and I'm gonna reload the page. Okay, my outfit is still here. Wait, oh, I have friend requests? I'm accepting everybody. Exclusive friendship membership if you friend me on Pop Tropica. And if any of you try to hack my Pop Tropica account, I will know. Survival Island, here we come. What makes Pop Tropica freeze? Like, it's not my computer. This is like 30 minutes of me just waiting for the loading screen. I gotta reload again. I'm trying this uh, one more time. Please work, Pop Tropica. Yo, this island isn't working. I literally just want to find the illegal cargo. The game doesn't want me to know the secret. I'm dropping. Uh, I just want to find the cargo. Let's try to go to another island. Let's try to go to another island, okay? I bet you it was Rainbow High that did this. I don't want to go to a fairy tale island. I want to go to survival island. I want to survive. That's the whole point. We're trying time tangled. We're going back in history. If this loads, what the heck? No, I want to go to survival island. <gasps> it's working! Oh my god, it's working! Please don't freeze on me. Please, I just want to crash in an island and die. Pop Tropka, you are how old? And you're not freaking letting me go to Survival Island. This is the last time I'm trying Survival Island. And if it doesn't work, I'm just gonna jump off the, uh, <laughs> the Statue of Liberty in Time Tangled Island. You're just not gonna work. You know what? That's fine. Freaking men in black, that shit. Pretend I never saw it. Erase it from the video. Actually, don't do that. Everyone needs to have the same trauma that I do regarding this. We're gonna do Time Tangled. Something's wrong over at Pendulum's lab! Okay. Whoa, this is just a strange thing to have right- Oh, help, something terrible has happened, and now the future is in peril! Please, come in! You don't even know who I am! What if I'm the reason why the future is in peril? Maybe your problem is the fact that there's a McDonald's ad right next to your freaking lab. What's this? Oh, the pup Whoa. After years of research and countless failures, Professor Peter P. Pendulum has successfully created two time machines. One is high-tech pocket watch. What? I can't read. One is a high-tech tech pocket watch that allows its owner to travel back in time the other is a giant time is a giant i can't read the other is a giant machine that will send a person into the future to celebrate his success the professor has decided to take a much needed vacation to shark tooth island in his absence uh, in his absence he has left his lab in charge of his assistants typical now the assistants have to deal with the problems i see i see please help us a malfunction is mixed up in the, the past and now the future's in peril what did i do to get here this printout will explain everything we're counting on you now, on survival island i wouldn't have had to deal with these scientists i would have just had to deal with probably like bears and shit trying to eat me but okay i'll read a malfunction has mixed up objects in the past and placed them in the wrong time periods oh now the future's in peril we must find a way to travel through time to locate these objects and return them to their owners this machine will transport you 50 years into the future so you can see the outcome of changes made in the past okay yeah whatever you'll need to power up the time machine before you can Use it. How do I do that? I'm not a scientist. I just got here. Like, I literally just got here. Wait, this island is literally one block? Where are the houses? Where are the people who live here? Oh, great. I moved to the left and it's just rainbow high again. Let's go! To the future we go! Oh my god. This is the future? Oh. Anyone know where the nearest JCPenney is? Oh my god! Who are you? I'm you, but 50 years older. Let me tell you, you look great for your age. Love the hair, love the stick, still no shoes, but you still get service. This will be your future if history is not restored. Take this time travel device. Now hurry, our future depends on you. It wasn't supposed to be this way. Something happened in the past that ruined mankind's future. 
can you turn back the hands of time and make things right? I love the idea of me, little me, freaking nine years old, just playing this and being like, I can take the future in my hands. Whoa, there's so many places. I have to go to all of these. Let's go clockwise. Sure. Stay back. We can't trust anyone near the treasury anymore. We're guarding the treasury. We don't want anything else stolen. The prized golden vase is gone. If you return the golden vase, you may talk to the oracle. Huh? Excuse me? You said what now? Will she tell me my future? Uh, well, I already know my future, I guess. I'm a hot old lady. There's got to be something we need up here. Some what is this? See? We found a phonograph. That's not supposed to be here. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Who put a phonograph on the ancient uh, temples? What, what person looks like they would create a phonograph? Maybe this person? Welcome to Edison's workshop. No, Edison didn't create the phonograph, did he? <laughs> I don't know. You like that motor wagon? It was shipped here from Germany. Oh, I do like this motor wagon. Can I... Oh, 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 sorry, watch out! Everybody watch out! Oh boy, oh god, oh that's bad, oh that's bad, oh we're having some accidents. I am really changing the past. Oh, that's not supposed to be there, it's a piece of stone. Well, glad I found it. Hey Edison, hey my dude, what's up man? Uh, who, oh I did, I picked the right person! Yo, how smart am I? And, and I, oh my... <laughs> My photograph is gone. It's an important invention that I need back. Well, I found it. Lucky enough for you. But you should probably give me a reward. Thank you for returning it. Sure, do I get anything? No. We're going to 1519 AD. What does that mean? After dinner? <laughs> Whoa! What the heck? Shh! I'm spying. Well, you're a bitch. The king is upset because a piece from the sunstone has disappeared. Well, I have it, so I'll give it back. Welcome to our great city, traveler. Ow! Now, what do I do to get past you? What if I just jump over you? Oh, I jumped over him! Okay, I got it. I got the sunstone piece. Thank you. We will f remember you forever. It's hard to forget me. I mean, look at how weird I look compared to all of you. And I have a cat that's wearing a dinosaur costume. I don't even think you guys know that dinosaurs are a thing. I'm too old for this. You're young. Here, take my warrior mask. Oh, this headdress will make you look like an Aztec warrior. I like your mask. <laughs> okay. Hello, fellow warrior. Check out this cool mask I found. Oh, goggles! Okay, I know exactly where that's gotta go. I don't like that guy. Uh, I probably shouldn't warn you about him, but also, like, be careful. Anyone who hides amongst corn is not to be trusted, unless they're eating it. Let's go, 1953 after dinner. <gasps> Here we are, in the cold, cold mountains. Come with me, cat. Oh! That, if that actually killed me, man, the future would be fucked. Oh no, my god! Edmund has lost his climbing gog. Who are these people in history? I'm Edmund Hillary. I have no clue who that is, and I've never heard of you in my life. Tenzing and I are climbing the summit of to summit of Mount Everest. Wow, I can't believe like I'm actually like they're actually gonna add me into history books now because I actually am changing the course of everything. I want to be a part of this adventure now. I got goggles on my head. I could do it. Let's climb to the top of Mount Everest. Ah! Oh my god, I'm gonna become the first person to die on Mount Everest. Edmund, uh, be careful up here. It's real slippery. Better, it's, it'd probably be better if you're wearing shoes. What? Is this the Foley, the Statue of Liberty? I can't believe I'm finally here on the peak of Mount Everest. I couldn't have done it without your help. That's damn right. You better tell those historians. You know what? All of these people I'm helping, I'm helping them. And they're pretending that I didn't. And they're putting in the history books, oh, I did this all on my own. I never, I never lost my goggles. I never lost my phonograph. Y'all all are just erasing me from history. I have proof that I was here all along. Yeah, you look away. Look away in shame. I'm out. We don't have much to do. Work on the statue has been halted. Why is that? Well, I'll tell you something. That statue is one hot lady. <laughs> The American in me is jumping out. There's something on the ledge of the building. You got it. Put me in, coach. There's something on the ledge of the building, and I'm gonna find it. Except I fell, so that's embarrassing. The French people are making fun of me, laughing at me. A notebook contains inventive drawings. Oh, we know what inventor that belongs to. No, Edison didn't create the phonograph, did he? I am Frédéric Auguste Bartholdi, sculptor of the statue. 
Don't cry, baby. I'm here for you. My original study model is gone. Dad, that's so funny. I happen to have it. My study model. Thank you for returning it. Of course, man. I got it for you. Now, um, if you could just on on the on the on the the bar thing, the, 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 what the, the the label? What's what's that called? The metal label thing. On that, if you could just put in really small writing, like it could look like a scratch. It could look like you accidentally like, eh, oh no, I scratched a little bit of the. Just put Rin was here. You could do it in French if you want. Yeah, that that would that would be great. Do that for me. We're even. We're square. Okay. Leo's workshop. Wow, they really just wrote Leo's workshop on it. It's like the Shrek thing, like Shrek Swamp. Um, okay, let's go. This is a weird workshop. Look, Leo, I love your work in Titanic, but this is a bit much, don't you think? A waterfall, really? Uh, Leo's workshop is so hot. Are you kidding? Breaking my freaking ankles for this man. There's a strange object hanging from the bottom of the deck. Peace metal. Whoa! What kind of trek is this to Leo's workshop as if it's Dracula's freaking castle? Like, Leo, what are you doing up here that you need to have levers and shit? Oh, Survival Island ad. Real nice, real nice. Look at this. Pop Tropica really goes out of their way to put the details. I mean, this is just beautiful. This is fantastic. Wow! That is something. I'm Leonardo da Vinci. I'm Rin. Good to meet ya. I have your notebook. I found it. You know, it was just, you know, just happened to come upon me. Thank you. As a reward, you may take this prototype of my latest invention? A glider? I can glide through the Han now? Shut up. Leo, you are the first person to give me an actual reward after I return an item to you. And for that, I'm going to give you something even more special. I'm going to critique your art. This this piece here is just beautiful. But you know what would make it real nice? Her smile. It's a bit much, don't you think? And you know what else? I think that the eyes should follow the viewer wherever they go. It should it should low key creep them out so much so that if this painting was in the hallway of a school, every time that the kids pass by it, they would murmur about how creepy it is. That's what happened to me when this when I saw this painting as a kid. What? I mean, no, this is anyway, uh Rin out. Let's let's just go here. I don't know if this is the right guess. I've guessed everything right until this moment. This could be the moment that I got it wrong. Is that a hedgehog? Ow! Is this Benjamin Franklin? I'm Benjamin Franklin. <laughs> I wonder what's taking Jefferson so long in there. He's probably taking a massive shit. What is this? Salt rocks? What freaking moment in history needs salt rocks? Where was that in my textbooks? I'm John Adams. B we're in trouble because Jefferson has lost the declaration. Oh, I'm in the wrong spot. Sorry, guys. I don't really give a shit. Let's see if this is right. I'm Captain Merriweather Lewis. We're on an expedition to the West, but we've lost our peace medal. There you go. See? Clark was here. This is exactly what I wanted for the Statue of Liberty. I got a stone bowl with Chinese writing on it. I feel like I look so much more terrifying with the wings on my back, but I'm definitely gonna keep them. What the heck is that? Oh, gunpowder. Like the amulet I'm wearing. You can win it if you beat me in a simple memory game. Bring it on, old man. Give me the freaking amulet, bitch. Whoa, it has the shape of a hammer. Is that Thor? I'm supposed to send smoke signals to the other tower. Hours. You look concerned. I am. I can't find my stone bowl. Funny enough, I happen to have one. Isn't that so odd? Also, you're not at all frightened by the way I look or how I have a weapon in my hand. Respect. Oh my gosh. I feel like I fit in here the most. Look at me. We're on a voyage of exploration. We landed here to wait out the storm. We've lost an important item. Without it, we dare not face the sea. This is so crazy. Just bear with me here. I know it sounds crazy, but I, uh, I, I, got something for you. The powers of Thor are with us again. Oh, there's something in here. Is this why I have gunpowder? Oh, it is! Oh my god, my cat almost died. Hello, is there anybody in here? What the heck is gonna be- If the Declaration of Independence is in here, I'm gonna freaking scream my little panties off. Oh my god, it's getting darker. This is fast. This is a fast speedrun area. It's gotta be in here somewhere. No! <laughs> I'm rage quitting Pop Tropica. Come on. Come on. I can find it. I got it! We got the golden mace! You're not from around here, are you? Welcome to the Mali Empire. Damn! Oh my god, is that a snake? Ew! What am I supposed to do? Ah! Oh my god! I'm just- I thought that said poop trader. I'm just a poor trader. I came to Timbuktu to trade. 
but I can't find the salt rocks I bought. I got your back. Don't even worry about it. Oh my god. I almost... My pet snakes are on the loose outside. Watch out. Oh, so it's you. You're the asshole whose snakes are outside trying to eat me. Trying to bite my butt cheeks. Greetings. Would you like to see the documents I'm currently trading? Bro, you got the Declaration of Independence? You seem most interested in this foreign document. But I see you have no money. However, if you can help me, I will give you the document you seek. You know what? I love puzzles, so this is just great. A promise is a promise. The document is yours. Don't walk away from me when you're giving me a document. I've stolen the Declaration of Independence! I'm Ben Gates! My ass is a little bit hot. I don't know what that means. That's those are lyrics, right, Ben Franklin? La -da -da -da. Ew! Oh my god, I was right! Jefferson is shitting! I'm Thomas Jeff- I told you before! Jefferson's probably taking a huge dump, and he is! He just took it, like, in his bed! I'm a time traveler, and this is the information I've come to give you. Thomas Jefferson is a bed, shit bed shitter. I just completed a draft of the Declaration of Independence, but it's disappeared. Maybe it disappeared because you were too busy shitting in your bed. Thank you! You saved the future of this nation. And you- Oh, he's running. See, it was a hot shit. What is Pop Tropica and Jeff Kinney trying to tell us by having bugs in Thomas Jefferson's room? I mean, there's no dead body hidden, but it sure does smell like it. Something died in his ass. I'm back, friends. I found the golden vase for you. As a reward, you may speak to the oracle on the hill. Whoa. Oh man, if you let out a fart in here, it would be really, really noticeable. Who are you? I am the oracle of Delphi. What do you do? I feel like I have to whisper. Uh, I prophecy. I can help you know what to do. Help me. Tell me anything. What, what do I do? Please. I see a beautiful future. I see you going to the top of the highest building. What does that mean? What does that mean? Uh, back to the lab. 2022, after dinner. It appears that you've repaired the past. Now travel to the future to make sure. Fine. All right, I gotta turn on the machine. You guys can't even do that for me. You can't even push the big ass machine for me. I gotta do it myself. I need to see my hot future old self. Whoa! Wait, is that me? I've changed a lot! <laughs> Hello, Moody Cactus. You're looking youthful today. Heading back to your sky home. This is so weird. This is the future that I have created. I'm like famous and I'm like the person who saved the world. I bet you they did put that thing on the plaque. They did it. Oh wait, ah, wait, my stop. That's my stop. Whoa, what, why is it a single, this is, this future is honestly, I, I want to go back to the, what it was before, the freaking barren, one level, not complicated, a sign that tells you what's going on, very straightforward, this is a lot of steps, the future is too complicated, hello, fridge oven, huh, welcome home, I've been waiting for you, take this gold medallion, You've earned it. Completed time tangled island. Oh, oh, oh. My older self is kind of like hot. Did I say that already? I am one step closer to Pop Tropica perfection. I am one step closer to being Jeff Kinney's first hand man, second hand man, maybe his next of kin. Get it? Like next of Jeff Kinney. I'm sorry, Jeff. Let's try one more time to make it for uh, for our good friend Amelia and the illegal cargo of Pop Tropica. One more time. Come on, bring me home, baby. Crash landing. Murder me. I want to die. Let me find the cargo. Please, game. All right. I've reloaded this 20,000 times. There's no way I'm finding her freaking cargo. Sorry, Amelia. Your legal mission will have to wait. If we've learned anything from this, it is that. Pop Tropica has a problem with loading screens, and my future self is smoking hot.